So shark and do in trading is usually a really friggin' common thing throughout trade servers on outpost.tf no what the fuck's it called? TF2 outpost, backpack.tf anywhere where there's trading there's gonna be sharking so what's sharking and how are we gonna avoid it? let's have a look so sharking is the basic principle of trying to sell your items as if they're worth more than they're actually worth so basically a shark will try and sell his items for much more than they're worth or they'll try to buy items for much less than they're worth so if you're just you know trying to sell some of your items a shark would come up to you and offer you way less than what's worth and perhaps what you're asking for and they'll also try and convince you that your item is actually worth what they're claiming your item is worth and not what you think the item is worth now this is not to be confused with item overpaying this is a common practice through a lot of trading people usually want pure or metal for their items so it's not uncommon for traders to ask for item overpay if you're paying with items because they want to make a profit you want the items it's fair enough and they will usually ask for this so it's easy to spot a sharker because they'll just offer you much less than what your items worth and basically just try to scam you so how do we avoid this well easy peasy you go to a website called backpack.tf there you can check all the prices of all your items you know less so for unusuals but we're talking just kind of craft hats and weapons and stuff like that strangers all that you can check all the prices on that website so when you're selling items make sure you know exactly what your items are worth and exactly what you want for the items before you try to sell them this way you can avoid being scammed avoid being sharked and you know, kind of retain your profits I suppose you can make profits and just get the metal you kind of you have and you've earned and it's the same for buying if you're buying an item make sure you know how much that item is worth and if they suddenly ask for a lot more in pure then you know they're trying to shark you so you can say look no the item is worth this and then you can go ahead and pay with that if they agree however if they're asking for item overpay you're paying with some items some hats whatever they'll probably ask for item overpay which is fair enough that's not sharking that's just you know, as I said before, that's commonplace around all trading sites and everything like that. So that was a little look at sharking in the world of trading, I suppose. You're going to have to put up with it if you ever venture into the world of trading. And, you know, you just got to learn to deal with it, basically. So if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Tara.